one thing that people always forget is that if you want those relationships, you have to go out and get them. Okay. Because if you just think that people are going to come up and talk to you or the teacher is just going to come up and talk to you and you form relationships that way, it's not always the case. Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Chris and we'll be back in the studio. Today we have a guest, um, Chloe. This is Chloe. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> um, she is a computer science engineering major from Seattle University. Um, so today we're going to interview her about this profession, um, about like what she thinks about the schooling, the job, and if it's worth it or not. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Chloe, why did you choose computer science? Um, so in high school, my senior year, they offered the first computer science courses to us and I took that class and my teacher was really cool and I realized that computer science mixes the techie side and math side that I like mm -hmm. and um, yeah I was always really into math because my parents put me through Kumon which was annoying at the time but it, it is what it is and then I guess I always like techie stuff or coding a little bit because um, if you remember MySpace yeah, and like yeah, yeah. messing around with your background and stuff, that was like programming and everything. It was more copy and pasting codes in. Co yeah, <laughs> copy and pasting codes in. I thought that was yeah. kind of cool messing around with that. And then once I took that course in high school, I realized it was a mix of math and that coding stuff. So I'm like, oh cool, maybe I can do this because I don't like bio. Yeah. So I didn't want to go down the healthcare stuff. So I decided to major that major in that in college. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice. And was there a reason why you like did computer science specifically versus any other type of engineering? Um, computer science is more of like the programming, learning different languages, and I like that because that kind of mixes the math into, like, you can use algorithms and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's like more typing I guess, whereas computer engineering, you're messing around with more of like the hardware and software of the computer instead. So you're mess messing around with more of the physical components of it. So you do like circuits or something like robotics or stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, so I knew that I didn't really want to do more of that physical hardware and software stuff. I just wanted to do like the coding part of it. And also with my teacher in high school, um, he told a lot of us like, oh, like send out your resumes and I can send it over to my friend in Microsoft and um, I got an internship there and that's when I did mostly coding mm -hmm. and I liked that's when I got to get used to it even more and I knew I wanted to get into the coding aspect rather than messing around with like the circuits and like computer engineering in general. Nice. Yeah. Um, so while we're on that topic talking about like internships and stuff mm -hmm. this is something I ask like most engineers like how important do you think it is to get like internships and like the networking aspect? Um, it is important when people say like you should get an internship as soon as possible, like they're not wrong. But if you can't get an internship as soon as possible, like you don't have to worry that much either. Mm -hmm. It's just, oh, I always think like just try to send out your resume as much as you can. If you can, don't be shy about like what you have in your resume because people, um, when they're like hiring you for an internship, they know that you don't have that much experience. Yeah. So they're really just looking for your passion and. Um, what you do and everything and kind of your personality and just put in what you can in your resume, just apply. Everyone come, like goes at their own pace. So I say do as much internships as you can, but if you can't for some reason, don't sweat it out as much either. Yeah, I feel like a lot of our viewers at home are giving out like a sigh of relief, like, oh, I don't have to have like an internship. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like probably a lot of people are stressing out about that. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so um, Seattle University. How was that? How was your experience being like a, like a woman in engineering or just like, like maybe like if you were in like a different field? Mm -hmm. How do you think that like um, Seattle University was really cool. So I applied into their computer science program there and I got in um, right away. So that was nice getting put in the computer science track right away. Um, and then the ratio between guys and girls was obviously pretty drastic, yeah. but everyone there was like super nice and welcoming. Um, Seattle University, since it's like a smaller school, um, 
you have more of a relationship with the teachers and everything, yeah. and you have more of a relationship with um, the students in your class, so you kind of have a support system there. Um, um, but you have to, I think one thing that people always forget is that if you want those relationships, you have to go out and get them, okay. because if you just think that people are going to come up and talk to you, or the teacher's just going to come up and talk to you and you form relationships that way, it's not always the case. So if you want to have a good relationship with your teacher or with anyone around you, you have to really make an effort in trying to make that first conversation mm -hmm. and trying to make yourself kind of known to them. Because, you know, everyone's in their own world. It's um, what you make it, basically. Yeah, it's what yeah. you make it. So, um, but it's nice because it is a smaller school. Mm -hmm. So it's not like UW where everything's like super big. Yeah. And that was one of the reasons why I didn't want to go there either. But, um... Their computer science program at Seattle University was really good. Um, there are some things that they were missing as well, but overall I think I got a good basic understanding of computer science, which is what you really need when you go yeah. to school. So what would those things be? Um, just learning the basics of coding, the languages, learning that you don't need to learn a specific language to become successful. You just need to learn the basics of what coding is, mm -hmm. and then you can apply it to any language that you learn. And um, yeah, and then uh, our senior capstone project was also super cool, and I think it's really unique at Seattle University too, because they make sure that you're teamed up with real companies out there. So for my senior project, I was paired up with Amazon, and we got to work with them for our senior project, and that was really cool. Um, you really get like the real life experience um, when you do that, and it is kind of a stressful senior year, but it's like a good kind of stressful, like you could. Yeah finally feel like the efforts that you're doing in school is actually going to mean a lot once you get out of school. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. So um, they have a really good capstone project there, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go to SU. So, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So now that, that you've graduated from SU, mm -hmm. recently, right? Mm -hmm. Like How many, like five weeks, you said? Um, yeah, June 17th. Right. So like, Congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where are you employed now, and if so, where do you work? And tell us a, a little bit about that experience. Yeah, so I work at Tableau now um, full time. I was an intern there last summer, mm -hmm. and now I'm back on the same team. I'm a so software. those internships are helping, huh? Yeah, the internships <laughs> are helping, but I know a lot of kids in my SU class who are able to not go through any internships and still get a job. Okay, cool. Too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm a software engineer at Tableau, and I'm just doing coding there and Yeah, stuff. just working, just coding? Yeah, All right. just working, getting used to... Like, is it fun, or...? It's definitely a yeah, lot of fun. Okay. Like, it's definitely nice not being in school anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. and actually, like, making money instead of giving them money. Yeah. For sure. Exactly. Um, and how's, like, the work environment, like, people um, um, my team's really cool like they're mm -hmm. super diverse and um, everyone has a different opinion which is really nice because then you're not in a team where yeah. everyone agrees on things all the time and it's not just like a group my team isn't all like white guys either so that's really nice oh, there we go. I have, like yeah. different like ethnicities in my team and they're yeah. all really cool um, we all mix well even though we're all super different and um, at Tableau especially, it's a really good company culture there. Mm -hmm. So it makes it really easy to come into work and like be excited, at least for me. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, so sort of on that topic, something that has emerged recently mm -hmm. uh, in the last few years are like coding dojos mm -hmm. and boot camps because um, obviously like you're very smart, so that's why you like got a CS degree. Uh, but like some people can't like even get into the CS programs mm -hmm. as they have to like opt out for these other options. Mm -hmm. What do you think about like what's your opinion about these options? Um, um, yeah, do it. Yeah? If you can, do it. If you're passionate about it, definitely do it because you get to do, um, you get to learn so much about computer science in that way. And if you're shelling out money for it, at least it's probably not as much as a four-year university oh, yeah. kind of money. <laughs> Um, so I think it'd be a really good experience if people yeah. go through boot camps, and also when you take those courses, maybe you find out that like maybe you want to go into a certain kind of computer science. Yeah. You want to be like a project manager, or a program manager, or a dev, or something with like UI design yeah. or graphics. So definitely going through boot camp is really cool, and anything that just gives you more experience in what you want to do, I think yeah. you should do it. And it looks good on the resume. So 
but do you know anything about like if you get like the same like job opportunities coming out like I feel like it's kind of harder yeah to get it um position. it can be but it's also like they look at your resume and then they're thinking like oh maybe you didn't go through four years yeah. of college mm -hmm. but you did take this course um, you're knowledgeable about it, maybe like let's just take him in for an interview, see how much he knows. Mm -hmm. And if you know, if you're able to ace an interview just as much as the person who went through a four year college, then there's really like yeah. no competition. Yeah. yeah. But just getting that initial interview though. That initial interview part. is always the hardest. Yeah. Part. And that's where you even just with have the to four keep, year, right? Yeah, even with the four yeah. year, you just have to keep applying. And I know a lot of people who think, um, like, oh, I went through four years of college, I did a major in this and a minor in this or double major or whatever mm -hmm. like I don't need to apply for jobs until like my last month in college but that's it's not true you should definitely apply as soon as you can even in the winter and just get your resume out there yeah. because you never know who's gonna see it one day and then like take you in for an interview because yeah. you just want to be taken in for that interview that is some great advice yeah, yeah. so even, like I know how like for me going through my resume was super stressful because I don't even want to think about it <laughs> and like I'm, like trying to like hype myself up in my resume somehow and like get around like what yeah. like terminology do I use yeah but you just have to do it one thing at a time maybe yeah. like one trait like every day or something and send out one resume every day or something. Yeah, and then make little goals for yourself. Yeah, yeah. and one day, so, like a company will definitely reach out to you. Yeah. Like I know for a lot of my friends, it's always the resume that they didn't think, or it's always a company that they didn't think would reach out to them yeah. that they're now working for. And it's just because they always kept applying. Yeah, yeah. gotta be persistent, Yeah. keep grinding. Mm -hmm. um, so let's like, move into like a sort of different topic. Uh, obviously you're a woman mm -hmm. and um, it's a well-known fact that there's not that many women mm -hmm. in engineering, not just computer science. Mm -hmm. um, how was that for you, like, in school, in the work environment, and did it, like, affect your decision in any way yeah. going into engineering? Um, no, like, I don't know, I just, I came from an all-girl high school, too, so oh, I never, yeah. they never really told us, or I never felt that difference between me and the next guy that was applying for a job. Yeah. And... Um, in school, even though there are a lot more guys than girls, um, I thought it was fine. Like, sometimes teachers like girls more. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really see it as big of an issue. I can see how it can be for um, other girls because they don't see that much of a, like a community for them. Mm -hmm. But again, you just have to reach out to the people that do seem nice to you. Um, reach out to as many girls as you do know, and then if you make friends with more guys, then that's chill too. Yeah. So I, I don't think being a woman in um, this industry today kind of like prevents me a lot, besides people just making the assumptions of like, oh, you're mm -hmm. like, you're a girl, do you, are you like a, I don't know, do you work at Nordstrom or something? I'm like, no, I, I'm a software engineer. Okay. Or like, um, final closing thoughts. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for people thinking about applying to CS? Um, just don't let teachers or your grades discourage you from doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. If you really like computer science and you're passionate about it, yeah. then just keep pushing through, get through your classes, no matter what grade you have, as long as you just pass, just pull through. Yeah. And um, even if teachers tell you like your code is shit or whatever, just <laughs> get through it and just pass that class and peace out to that teacher. Yeah, and prove them wrong or yeah. yeah. And um, internships are really great, yeah. so always try to apply for those as much as you can. And um, also just enjoy your summer and enjoy your time throughout college because that, you don't want to be major, stressing. Yeah, yeah. Major key. Um, even, so even even if you like applied and applied and applied and you still don't get it, you just like tell them just keep applying, right? Yeah, just keep applying. Yeah. Like, there's someone's gonna hire you for sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that concludes it. Um, Chloe, thanks for coming in, mm -hmm. giving us uh, a little bit of your time. Yep. Uh, we'll see you next time when we go in for an update. Okay. Sounds good.